Oh, that's not masonry, and we got what, 16 turns to grow on that tile, but that's going to speed up in in shortly. Ah, bronze working. We also could, of course, work the deer, which is going to require trapping. So we need to get into animal husbandry first. It's unlikely we have any tiles with horses nearby. Archery is also an option. I really wouldn't mind. Well, we don't need. We have an archer, so we don't need to put out an archer. Um, we might actually want to build a settler. Hmm. 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 I'm thinking we want to plop a city up here, despite the fact that it's a bit meager in terms of. It's going to provide some science, and it's going to give us a cover. And I can't see a lot of other great. I mean, we might want to scout down here, but I'm not seeing. I'm not seeing a lot of great city spots. There's of course a river here in the middle, but it's just giving us citrus, which we already have. Ah, Manila. I mean, we could plop a city there. We could plop a city there. And city here-ish. It's going to be a bit tight, happiness-wise. It is going to be a bit tight, happiness-wise. Well, there's no point in going calendar before bronze working, because we're going to need bronze working to chop the jungle before we can work the citrus anyway. Ooh, the barbarian unit captured something. That is not a... That might be to our advantage up here. That might be to our advantage. Um, let's keep scouting. Uh, I want to heal him, but at the same time, I also kind of want to just explore this area down here. See what we got. Mm -hmm. yes. I'm definitely tempted to follow the barbarian up here. I mean, we'll take the worker. Not sure we can get out with the worker, but... Adopt policy is certainly going tradition. We have lots of production available. We just need the food to sustain, to support it. Most certainly. We are going tradition. And doesn't look like we get a lot. Ah, oh, hey, where did the worker go? Is there a barb camp up here? Yes, there are. Someone to guard us our protection and gives them ranged attack unit in cities. We don't care too much. We're not going to be invading any. Oh, I should have cared who got it. I didn't pay attention to that. Um, that's going to be a bit frustrating. If I hit this, then I'm going to stab the back. It's going to take me a while to whittle down these barbarians. If I don't attack this, though, it's going to stab me in the back, so kind of have to kill that one first. Uh, walls is, of course, unnecessary. Likewise, so are shrines. Um, hmm. Is there any... Well, we are going to play the faith game, so let's get the shrine out. That also allows us to grow one more tile before we worry about spitting a settle out. I think we are going to... Well, we'll see what we do about the gold. We could buy a worker right now, but it's not really worth it. An enemy brood attacked your scout. Oh, we're getting, getting pummeled here. We can get away from that. Oh, I just I actually moved out of the interesting, interesting decision. Um, hmm. If I heal here, will I die next turn? Gamble or play safe? I feel like I have enough turns to worry about gambling up here. So let's just play this one safe. We can set this guy to heal up here. 
Hey, do you know what? This guy is just finding city states and allies or enemies. Um, this guy's healing. And is there anything else we need to do? Not really. Just let some turns go. Get this worker on the marble. Keep scouting. Oh, another city state. Always useful. To find as many of those as possible. Just keep healing that guy. Hey, Egyptian scout. Um, and we found Yerevan. Which apparently we're the first to find. So no one... It doesn't look like anyone's been down here. And the only problem is, of course, that we don't want to go... We don't want this barbarian camp to kill us. So let's, let's take a step that way. Worker, can't start building that. The archer is moving in that direction. I would really love to see the AI make smart plays, like such as say the Egyptians are nowhere near us, right? The Egyptians have no reason to fear any retaliation from us. So really, the Egyptian sh scout here should take this worker. There'd be no good reason for them not to. They have absolutely no way like there's no way we can get any kind of units near them we don't even know where they are so I, i'd love to um play against an ai who did that those kind of things um well i kind of don't want this guy to shoot us and kill us but we might be okay uh, i'm kind of hopeful here I hope we don't lose that guy. Um, choose research. Of course, now we can consider calendar. Or archery. Well... <sighs> I think we're building a settler. I think we're building a settler next. So, animal husbandry is interesting because it might make us change our decision about like where we plot the city. I, I don't see it being a big deciding factor though. Calendar is seemingly a little bit more important. Even though there's only four turns for animal husbandry, we might well consider just taking it. Let's hope this guy lives. He barely lives. But do need to worry about running him away from here. Take the visibility reins so we can see some more of the map and then just run him away to heal up. This guy is a hey, Austrian scout. Everyone just want to scout my terrain. Well, it's production. Oh, barracks, not now. Settler, definitely now. <sighs> well, so here's the Here's the problem. Here's the problem. Where do we settle? Where do we settle? If we settle down here, we get cob up, but so we also get cob up here. Up here, we also get a bit of jungle, but most of the tile we're just contesting with Manila. But we probably want a city up here, regardless, because it's going to be next to a mountain, meaning we can build an observatory. That'll give us a lot of science. We also get jungle tiles. Can plop a trading post. There's only like a few jungle tiles. It's not. This is not a great city spot. Most of these these bananas are going to be taken by the capital eventually anyway. We're not gaining a lot of land up here. Realistically, this is just a would be a science outpost. But it's a poor one since almost all the terrain like this tile like one two three. So one two three. So this tile this tile this tile this tile are taken up. Technically, the only tile we gain are these three tiles. Those are only gained by putting a city here. Assuming that Manila, we could actually take over Manila, might be a better option. So, I don't think we're settling a city up there, which means we might as well settle down here. It also gives us a coastal city, not that we are going to care about our unique boat. But... Now the question, so then the question is, do we want to settle right on... Well, we probably don't want to settle on the copper. That's just... 
ton of water, there's nothing good in it. <sighs> the question is, uh, then, then of course it comes, do we want this one first? We might want this city first because it'll give us more gold being on the river. Ah, Let's heal the scout. This warrior is almost done healing. Um, experience. Where's his hit points? Oh, he's only going to heal seven next turn. Let's just, just ram in into that. Start whittling down that thing. So we need to kill this as soon as possible. We very, very much would like to kill this camp before it spawns a, um, another barbarian. That could be the downfall of us. So we are going to try our best to hopefully take this out, which means we'll need to heal one turn. That guy's healing. A unit needs orders. Be this guy. Oh. Where to settle here is actually a big deal. Hmm. We might want to settle on this tile. We'll still be next to... We won't be on the river, but we'll be next to the river and we'll be... We'll get the old faithful and if we really care about that. But we get more of the land over here as opposed to settling here where we just... Well, one of these tiles we want to settle on. I, I don't think it makes a big difference. The only place we don't want to settle is, of course, the flat land. Please don't spawn. Crap. It spawned an archer. That is just that's just fantastic. On the upside, we're almost killing the archer, but of course the archer is gonna kill us. So we have to actually we actually have to run away and heal here. That's a bit unfortunate, but what can you do? We tried our best. Ah, and this just spawned an archer and uh, You would think it would shoot the closer scout. You would think that. But it might also shoot me because I'm the lower health scout. So I'm having a feeling that I'm not, I'm not feeling too confident about my chances. Um, we could try and steal a worker from Hanoi. I think let's go up here to Hanoi and see if they have a worker for steel. That might mm, affect our decision on what to buy and what to build. Ooh, there's a worker on route. Oh man, oh man. I'm so tempted, I am so tempted to steal that and then try and get snack that one as well, leaving Persia down two workers. Oh man, I'm so tempted. But at the same time, it feels a bit... I, I'm kinda in a position where I hopefully don't have to care about the Persians the entire game because no one is gonna get past this map this terrain one way or another um, so I really don't want to provoke anything take my archer near now I'm thinking of thinking of yeah we can we can clear that camp but I'm thinking of taking this Hanoi worker first because we've got a settler pubbing in four turns, then we steal this worker, and that worker can then immediately start um, improving the city. Particularly if we settle the city close to the citrus. Which is what we're likely to do. To do. The only thing is we need to make this next to a mountain. So this tile, that tile. Uh, probably going to be one of these two tiles. I'm not really sure what we prefer. If we settle here, we get the water mill, which we don't really care about. Um, this sheep, of course, is taken by the capital. We would get this sheep, but we might settle. We're probably settling down here anyway. Um, if we settle over here, we get the marble, which we don't really care about. We get a little bit closer to it. We get old faithful, which we might care about. This is probably going to be a pretty big science city, so I'm kind of thinking maybe possibly that we might want to settle on that tile. Mm. One, two, three, we do we don't get any of these unless we go all the way to the other side of the mountain, which is just that's a little too optimistic. I think let's stay on this side of the mountain range. Um I could consider taking a worker from Manila, but it's much further away from where I'm gonna settle my cities. Also whether to take Manila or not 
is a bit of a I'm leaving that up in the open for now. It's a pretty easy city, easy city to take because it's on flat land. It's a little bit we can only have it's a bit gonna be a little bit hard to attack unless we, we get upticks and sail. Well, we can always move units around it. Fairly easy city to take. It's somewhat neutral because we get the silk from taking it. So in, in terms of happiness, it won't hurt us too much to take it. But it's not going to provide us a great deal. It'll just be a puppet sitting here that we can sort of use as a... Like, the advantage to having Manila is that if we don't take it, the Persians might take it. And suddenly we have to worry about how to deal with the Persian having the city. We don't want Persia to have the city. That would be catastrophic. Taking it would, make, would basically just uh, mean we use it as a front... Uh, as sort of like a sort of a, a city on this front where we just as long as we station an archer or two in the city there's no way they are taking it like, so this, is, this this city can hold this front whoever gets the city has a definite advantage in term, on this terrain so we'd only take it taking it take it for defensive purposes uh, oh definitely puppeting it there's no there's no value in annexing the city it has no production um, we don't care what it produces in fact you should always so whenever you take over cities, it's a little bit of a strategy. Well, let's actually get forward with the game too. But whenever you take over cities, you should always puppet them. First, you should never you should never annex a city because it will be revolting the first X number of turns. So you won't get any value out of having it annexed except you set more unhappiness. You can always annex it later. You should always puppet a city right away. But the only times you really want to annex a city instead of puppeting it is if it's in a place where it can produce a lot of it has a lot of production value where choosing what it produces is of value in this case there's not a, there's just a bunch of flat land with no real resources we don't care what the city produces it's, it's so it's only value is is uh, the strategical positioning so let's steal this worker that's what i'm talking about doing forever make peace with hanoi thank you It only has such strategic value in the look because of the location. So we, we so never annex that city. Never care about annexing it. But it has value as a puppet, for sure. Choose research. So we got. Let's get the animal husbandry just in case we get horses somewhere. <laughs> we are finally done here with the. Um, also, that means, of course, getting animal husbandry means we could have got trapping. That could be useful. Um, oh, crap. Deal with those. Let's deal with those barbarians. This guy is still healing. We don't need to heal a lot to kill this archer. We do want to kill this archer quickly because we really, we really want to take this camp and get the worker before Persia does it. <laughs> that would be a good value to us. So certainly we... <laughs> Certainly, we do want to. Um, so let's see. Getting yeah, you settling there would not be a great idea. Uh, never trust with the AI. Nine turns to move here. Yeah, well, let's get started then. If we settle here. It also means we'll be working likely this tile first. Let's put the worker on that tile. Shoot down that guy. And, well, let's heal one more turn up here. Stoneworks. So... Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to get stoneworks out. We only get plus one. We only have one marble, so we only get, like, one extra production out of it. But that's still plus two production, plus one happiness. It's reasonably good value. Could get a barracks out and start maybe getting some archers. That's also something that's on my mind. Let's see what Animal Hospital reveals to us. Where do we have the horses? Thou shalt not muzzle the ox when uh, we got horses there, so we'll get those four horses eventually. Not terrible. We'll even got horses down there. That makes the city location ever so slightly better. Not Oh, and we got horses there as well. So there's got double horses in the city. Certainly not terrible. Certainly not terrible. We might want to Definitely might want to consider some horse units. Um, I, I kind of want to. Yeah, let's. I'm 
thinking that we're gonna be okay here now. Oh crap, Persian scout. Obviously, I, I just don't want Persia sneaking this camp. I'm hoping they don't shoot me. They shoot. Hopefully, they shoot the scout, and then we can maybe sneak in and kill it. Let's see. Oh, so this is where we can consider archery. I think we are going to go for the archery. Well, we could always get the barracks out before the archery, actually. Let's just do that. So let's get the bear. We have the tech for the barracks. Let's go to trapping first. Well, we're not going to need to build a camp anytime soon. Let's go for the archery. No mind. I'm fine with archery first. Let's take one step up. Start clearing this camp. Yoink. This guy is perfectly safe. This guy is almost fully healed, so he can. Have... No one else had explored this. There might be some. There might be some ancient ruins down here that are on. Oh, hi, barbarians. That was angry barbarians down there. Keep an eye on this camp up here. That's where I'm mostly concerned. So everyone is just. Oh, they spawned. Really? Oh, we can't even. We don't have vision on them now. Well, let's just roll we'll back. We'll get the city down there. We'll, we'll clean the camp eventually. Ah, might as well heal. And I'd love to see what's on the other side of that city state, but these barbarians are not really letting us, so let's go the other way. Um, oh, hey, ah. So, monarchy could be good. If we go monarchy. The intention should be to sell a luxury. Let's see, we're growing on. We're not growing on that tile. Mm. If we go monarchy, it should be with the intention of selling a luxury and buying another settler to get down here. And I think that might be what we do. That might be what we do. So let's turn diplomacy. I probably should have been selling this earlier, but uh, well, Ramses of Egypt, do you like to trade? You can buy my marble. Two two six. Can get one per turn as well. Uh, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. So then we can purchase a settler and we can take the settler and we can run him down here and just get a city up here it's not it's not of great value but it's gonna it's gonna have some reasonable amount of food it's gonna give us an extra luxury and it'll provide some science eventually we might even go for the uh, messenger of the guards get some trade routes going that would also be a reason to uh, puppet the city if you get if you get the uh, messenger of the guards belief, where cities, you know, trade network gives us, gives us extra science. We'd have some reason to. Uh... We'd have some reason to. Oh, hopefully, there are no barbarians down here. Maybe we should run this. Ar Maybe this archer should run down here. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I want to pray and no barbarian spawning down here. 